Uh, I'm going to ask Brother Johnson, Dwayne Johnson, to lead us in a prayer and place for play. Can I use the mic again? You sure can. Bow with me, please. Father in heaven, we're so thankful for this opportunity to, to gather here tonight and we're so thankful that we can live in a country that can gather here and make decisions. And we hope that uh, you'll be with each of the masters tonight and the people here and, and help us to uh, do what's best for our county and uh, help us always to do your will. We pray, Father, at this time that you'll bless this gathering here. And uh, we just, you know, we just had veterans today. We will be thankful for all the veterans that that sacrificed uh, so we could have this freedom of gathering here today. And, uh, we do thank uh, all the magistrates and uh, uh, judge executive and uh, for all the work they do. We pray that you continue to be with them. Again, we want to ask you to protect this country and help this county to grow. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you have the minutes of the October the 18th meeting, no motion. Both we'll Joe Barnes second the same small. Uh, is, is there any discussions, corrections, or additions on the minutes? Discussions, corrections, or additions? Being not on favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. The minutes are approved. Next you have bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including the late list. I make a motion. Second. And, and a late late list. And a late late list. Motion to Sam Rumble. Second late by late Larry Morky. It's on the list. Uh, any questions? Uh, just a minute, Judge. Uh, I'm looking over this late list. Okay. All those say aye. Opposed like sign. The bills are paid. Before you have the treasurer's uh, October financial statement. Make a motion to accept. I'll say it in our motion. Say dollars. Motion to Sam. Second to Jason. Is there any discussion or questions for Amy? Being that on favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. I make a motion to accept the clerk's October 2022 financial report. I'll make a motion to acknowledge second. Uh, motion by Sam, second by Jason. Is there any more discussion? Being that all folks say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Next, I have a special recognition I want to do here. Uh, I would like to ask Mr. Tim Swift to come up here if he will.
What this is, uh, one of our schools, and all of our schools in the county do wonderful, and we recognize as, as they do. But right now we want to recognize Horse Spring School. They had the best of the uh, KSA scores. And in this was not only test scores, but also there was, uh, there was 10 other elements that they needed to get well on, do well on, and they did eight of the 10. And uh, the average was about six, and, and uh, Horse Springs got eight of those 10 objectives and had the best test scores. And so I'm just really proud of that school, and uh, I want to uh, give this little uh, recognition to the school and uh, say again how proud we are of it. Thank you. Next, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Dusty, I guess, is going to come make the presentation for a group called SAY. Tell us what you are, who you are, and uh, what you want asking us to do for you. Okay. Uh, my name's Dusty. Uh, we have an organization we have started. It's in, uh, we have, we meet in Horse Branch. Uh, it's SAY, Surrounding Area Youth. Uh, we are, we have such a large county, we are such a large county, we're so rural that we want to put every child, uh, these are readers, so I have to look above. Uh, so, I know they have the Boy and Girls Club here in town, but we don't have anything out there, and it's, I mean, it costs, I mean, it would cost a fortune to bust everybody. So anyways, we've got a little thing we started, uh, we meet on Tuesday nights at 6 o'clock, uh, we are a group of concerned parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, community members coming together to give the youth of our area support. We truly feel it's our passion to pour good into our future, and we all know the youth are the future leaders of our community, county, state, and country. We strive to give our, give our youth a safe and supportive, loving atmosphere. We work with uh, Search Institute's 40 developmental assets, um, and I'll speak on those in a minute. Uh, we create lessons, they're fun lessons, we do activities we help with that are going to help them with everyday life. We want the children in these communities to know that we are a community concerned about what concerns them because they do matter. We want them to know that they do matter. Uh, the 40 developmental assets uh, that we kind of work on, uh, we feed the kids every Tuesday, they get a good meal, some of them come and they'll I mean, it's it's amazing. We have um, usually around 30 kids. Um, in the summer, it kind of slacked off a little because they had sports and stuff. But uh, the 40 developmental assets are uh, the Search Institute has identified the following building blocks of healthy development development that help young people grow up healthy, caring, and responsible. Um, there are 40 assets. They their um, external assets are like support, family support empowerment, uh, community values you, boundaries and expectations, uh, school boundaries, school provides clear rules and consequences, constructive use of time, um, time at home, young person is out with friends with nothing special to do, two or few nights a week. Uh, internal assets are like commitment to learning, achievement, motivation, young person is motivated to do well in school, positive values, caring, young person places high value on helping other people, Social competencies, uh, one of those assets is planning and decision making, uh, positive identity, one of those assets would be self-esteem. Uh, we just kind of make a lesson around one of these. Uh, we give them rewards if they do certain things. Uh, we just get together and we have a lot of fun and we help them and we want them to know that we are somebody that they can trust, that they can come to, and we just want to grow. So we're asking for um, 50000 to help us in doing that. We're renting a building, uh, we feed them, we do activities. Uh, tonight we're actually going back. We've made, uh, we've got Thanksgiving boxes for a couple needy families. We've got a homeless man that we've, we've got uh, a box of uh, non-perishables that we're doing. We've got a family that uh, 
receives assistance, but they've had some surgeries, some stuff come up, and so we're helping them with like uh, household toiletries, um, washing powder, you know, stuff like that, because it's important to know that some people struggle, and it's really good to know and to care. You really have to have care. The world has lost a lot of its caring, so we really want to instill that in our kids. So that's all I've got. So I turn this into her. Yes. And got, uh, you got your contact information on it? Uh -huh. Okay. So where do you guys meet at? You said you meet over Tuesday? Uh -huh. We meet at the firehouse. At the firehouse? Mm -hmm. Fire station right now. Okay. Yeah. Rosine, Horse Spring. Horse Spring. Yeah. Horse Spring. I tell you, it's really uh, amazing what these ladies are doing for the community. It is unbelievable. And we have kids from uh, Beaverdam, they do come. We have a little girl, she's six, and she was like, I know, Mamma, you haven't been feeling real good. She was like, so I'll do the dishes if you'll please take them. And I kind of, that was kind of, that was kind of sweet. We have people who come from Litchfield. Um, we have a couple kids that come from there. We have Yaman, uh, we have Old Layton, we have Horse Branch. Um, I'm trying to think of anywhere else. Uh, so, uh, Rosine, uh, I'm trying to think. I guess that's about it. But, I mean, we just started. We've been at it probably six months or so. But um, it gives the kids something to do, something fun, and it's good. It, it's good. It's a good thing. What so, time on Tuesdays? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. We usually do 6 to 7.30. We're usually an hour and a half. We usually run <coughs> over, but we try. On a school, when it's school, we try to get out at 7.30. In the summer, we kind of last a little longer. So. so this isn't something where the kids will be bused from the school to no. your place? Then. No, we pick them up, or we, you know, we are just a bunch of people that just go and pick up, like, yeah, we just go pick up a bunch of kids. Some of them, uh, this is, uh, like if we have extra, they're like, oh my gosh, it's pizza, because we usually get it at Domino's, and so they're like, oh my gosh. And so, I mean, some of these kids just, it's the highlight of their week outside of school. So. I would challenge every court member to go up there sometime and just sit through it and watch these ladies, what they're doing. And I know there's a boys and girls club here in Hartford, but it's not possible, because these, people's parents, these kids' parents, they either have to work or they might not have the financial means, means to get them here. And, and some uh, of them really just don't care what their kids do. They're like, here, yeah, if you'll come and get them, you can have them. And uh, uh, it's uh, it's my daughter's siblings that we go and we pick up and uh, they, they love it. And it's just, uh, it is something good outside of the home and they learn and they know that somebody really does care about them. Hey, Justin, what, how, what time is the Boys and Girls Club close? Uh, 6.30, maybe 6, 7. 6 I was thinking it was about the time that was better. Yeah. <clears throat> I know we can't act on this tonight, but I would like to make a motion that we move forward on this so we can possibly decide by our December meeting if I could uh, get a second. I'll second. I'll second it for uh, to, for looking at on these to look at the next meeting. Yeah, she. Uh, you've turned everything into our treasurer, so we can look at that. You said it was about thirty or forty comes mm -hmm. every night. Yeah. Coming every Tuesday. It's night. starting to build back up from the summer. We dropped down in the summer, and then right. now that it's gotten cold, we've right. Yeah, good time of the year yeah. to have something. Yeah, yeah. It gets dark so early. Yeah. And, uh, we have kids that walk. They'll walk from the community, they'll walk down. It's a necessity for the community. It, uh, it's given these children a chance that the people and the children in Beaverdam and Hartford have. And the, the bus doesn't bus from Horse Branch to the Boys and Girls Club, right? No, it's just so, it's so. so rural, it would take forever to run the route. Yeah. I know this is a great endeavor, and I, I concur with what Larry has to say. But as a fellow court member, along with two others that's going to be leaving the court, I don't feel like it's probably my decision to make. We've got an incoming court with three new members on it, and uh, I don't mean this as a burden, but when you're talking about that kind of money and the finances they got to look at from going henceforward after the first of the year, uh, I had rather 
I'd rather that uh, you approach the new court and and uh, and and go in that direction. Well, I disagree with that because this is our the money, and the longer you put some, put it off, we would like to act on this before winter. I mean, there's a need there, and this money was appropriated in all y'all's terms, so. It's, uh, this is, it's, let's look like I said. Let's table or whatever until the December meeting to kind of give us time. Because I'd like to talk to some people, and, and Dwayne, I could talk to you too. Because hey, it's it's, it's research based, good program. Because I know you, it, it, the family resource, you deal with the kids in the Horse Ranch area. You know, it, it's, it's been proven for years. Uh, and the information that was given to you, can can we get that out to all the magistrates? Yes. Okay. Is it this right here? Uh, no, no, I think it's just application here. They, okay. kind of, they kind of have made a list of what they're wanting to use. Okay. Not only do the kids, but they strengthen the community as well. Community relationships. We talked about test scores a while ago. That's one reason why our test scores are so good. We build good relationships with those kids. It's very important you build those relationships. And our community is strong. And they can, there's a lot of people in the community that can they can help those kids. That's what really it's designed to do. The search institute, yeah. and that's what I would. But I, I, you know, with the, knowing that I didn't know you were coming tonight, I would like to see me and see where our ARPA funds even are at this point right now, too. Well, there's plenty of ARPA funds. <clears throat> there is. Uh, you have. I don't have to Two million seven hundred and twenty thousand six hundred and seven dollars in the bank ARPA funds. A lot of it we've appropriated with all those stuff. those that we where we gave the, the cities and the uh, anything would help. It doesn't. Yeah, well, right. We're, yeah. We're not, I'm not. I just right. want to look because yeah. that's a, let's let's definitely get her down the road. And talk about it with them. Can we see probably next meeting where that Arbor Fund money is? What's well, kind of appropriated and kind of know where we stand? Yeah. I'll I'll mail this copy out and mail it out to you. That's what that was. Yeah, like she said, one thing occurred is we couldn't do the entire 50, anything would help her. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it sounds like a great program. No, it really it sure does. I think anything local is good yeah. for the kids. Sure does, but we will get that through committee and get it here to the meeting. For Especially the like you pointed out, in the wintertime, it seems like it's really picking up because you know, they don't have the sports. It gets dark early. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah. What, 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 which one is your name? I'm sorry. Dusty. Dusty. Dusty Louise. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you so much. Uh, See you next month. Okay, and I think we're going to go because we have, we're going to have kids waiting. Oh, so okay. Y'all have Thank a good evening. So Take care. Uh, did... Did anybody get you the information we got on the agenda for the surplus jail vehicle? Do you I have, have it? it? You do have it? Uh-huh. Yeah. I gave it to you, Miranda. Do you have it? Sorry. It's a 2006 Ford Expedition. Miranda has the VIN number. Yeah. And they're going to put it on this the go This You want to cover it up here. Great that we surplus that so the, the jail can sell it. I would move to approve uh, uh, the vehicle 2006 Ford Exposition uh, to be sold as surplus. Second, second. Second. Any discussion? Larry, 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 Okay, I'll say aye. Aye. Close like saying the vehicle surplus. Miranda, you skipped number six. I know, I'll give you those. I've got an item here, gentlemen, that the uh, treasurer's requested that we uh, set up a separate bank account for the uh, opioid settlement as it comes through. And the guidelines are set up and everything before we can budget it, but we do need a bank account to put it in. Um, and we're going to put in $500 just open the account. So I'll make that motion. See? Motion. Okay, I got motions all over the place. You pick. Okay, let's say I'm done. And, and Larry said. That is a bank account and a fund, 
it'll be in its own restricted fund. Yes. What can we do with those funds? It, it's, it, it's pretty restricted. I don't have the list in front of me now, but it, it's restricted in what, in, what we can, uh, in what we can spend it on. It has to be for drug abatement in some way. I don't know that my mouth yet. But anyway, uh, we got those two things done. And also on the uh, we where do y'all come up with on the jail count, Larry? Do what now? The jail. We still need set up a separate count for the jail. No, uh, no, not at this time. Well, we're going to we're going to Justin's going to try a different avenue and go from there. I got two different areas. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we're just start plus the, uh, we're going to either uh, funds through AM with the county or or set up the own federal yeah. identification number and uh, add the jail uh, committee at this point. Okay, uh, in front of you, you have the resolution for code severance to set it up. Oh, just to set up the. And this is for the code severance to send it in and get it approved and everything. That's good. Uh, just for the money, or is, is there a list? Yeah, it's on there. It's real general. The, the black top money for next year, chip and sell money, or whatever, it's on there. Oh, okay. Can we see a list of that? I mean, yeah, you have, it should be on your desk. You got land there somewhere. Is this the last page here? So what it is says, okay. You got it. What I say? I don't see. Hang on. This is the last page on your packet. Oh, yeah. yeah. The middle thing is that the top one is that, is that jail fund. It's the, it's the it's pay the research guy. Uh huh. Yeah. Do I have a motion? So move. Motion by Larry Moore for you. What's the Rosie Museum Annex? That's where we've already got, the, we got the one, that we talked about this a uh, few months ago. We got the 180 in there that we put aside, 185 that we put in from other funds. From the ARPA. Fund. Yeah, we put that in there to purchase the property and we didn't get to purchase it. So we held that for the new building and this was to add a little more money into it for that. And then that should give me a good position to go to the state to try to get the rest of it. Do I hear a second? Motion to Larry Moore for you. I thought we were putting money for the for the grinder in here. That's a different. That's a. That'll come the next resolution. That'll be the next resolution. So this is the okay. They the state wanted not the grader but the, the bulldozer. Yeah, the state wanted us to only do a resolution for what money was actually in there, and not get too far ahead. This would get it in there so you'd have the blacktop money ready to start in spring. No, most of that 480 is this season. This season, it's okay. It's not new money. Okay. It's all, most of it's spent. The new appropriation will come in later. Probably March, we'll get the new figure. We need to do something different next year. It's ridiculous not having our blacktop money before now. That's, somebody's laid back. I guess it's us. No, I say it just comes when it comes. We need to start going up there a little earlier. If they done moved up on the, uh, oh, uh, no. they're not going to get it this year. Yeah, he insists he will. Okay, we don't hear a second. I guess we'll try to see if uh, if I want to make a motion a different way on it. What if 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 your if your stumbling block is the is the uh, museum? Annex. Why we don't we make it this building, and then later we'll come back and discuss. Just building. How you mean, Dave? 
Rosine Museum. Here's what I would rather do. Let me tell you about that too. I'll just tell you my point. I would rather, if we're going to do a building, because we have a project and I'm not going to talk what's going on, but I just want to make sure that things are lined out there, that there's not a competition between the county and the other, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what? would you would you second the motion if it's the Rosie Museum, if we put the county building? That sounds good, and I'll second it. Okay. But I, I want to get things ironed out with some other stuff before we... Yeah. Okay. We don't really need anything to honor out on that. I mean... But it's it's uh, courts, the new courts... I just don't want to compete against an assisting business that's going to come in that's <laughs> going to help really the county. Can't compete, and they're coming in and taking over, Jason. Yeah. I mean... But well, I haven't that with them yet. I just want to say this, this was this would kick, get this passed and the money would be there. Yeah. The money would be there and then it'd be uh, the new course discretion is uh what building they use it for. What yeah. building they use it for. Okay. That's, that's good. I do have a motion to second with this being changed to the county building. Hmm. All in favor say aye. Folks like that. Judge if I may uh, if I may ask Ann a question, I'm sitting here looking at the estimated budget, uh, budget shortages. And these are, is these as serious as what the numbers They're reflect? Numbers. Oh. Yes. When we did, uh, the court did this budget that we're in now, we did 7% raises for all employees, and that was budgeted. And we knew that the fuel and utilities was going to be an issue. So it is an issue. Well, I, I notice here that uh, in every category from animal shelter, senior center, fuel, or whatever, it's all going to be in the hole. It's estimated, I understand that, that it's going to be behind eight points. It's a pretty good estimate. Okay, just want to make the court aware of that. Like I say, I'll be leaving, but this this is this can be some serious problems when it comes to financial implications. Well, what I've done is the reserves that we have. I've already restricted them to hold in place, so we just don't have very much reserves yeah. left. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, my name point out, Claire. Yeah, but, it's, you know, it's probably over That's what we do. My next thing here is the OCDA uh, personnel. OCDA board has given me a name. And I'm putting it up to the as the new uh, OCDA's uh, economic development director. The name is Jason Chin. I just need a roll call, Miranda. Johnson. Yes. Cam. Is this the recommendation recommendation from the uh, OC OCDA? Yes, it is. Okay, go ahead, Miranda. Cam. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Did you want to say the information on it? Just an effective date. Effective date is next Monday. <clears throat> uh, uh, Justin, you want to tell us what we need to do here on the... Uh, Bids. Uh, uh, on the bids, or I'm, I'm sorry, not on the bids. On the road easement for Old Liberty Church. Sure. Um, <clears throat> Old Liberty Church is out at the Greta property, and so I just ask that uh, the motion be made, or the court entertain a motion to be made, to allow the uh, judge executive to execute an easement consistent with the engineer's uh, survey of the uh, roadway that they are that they're building out there. It comes out to point eight five. Uh, four or three miles. Um, this same date, we're going to file a petition for the establishment of this county roadway to make it uh, official. Uh, but at least we can accept the easement at this time, and then we'll go through the pre procedure of, uh, of formally accepting that roadway. I'll make a motion on what he just said. <laughs> second. <laughs> uh, motion second. You need help with the people have right now. Did you get all that, Miranda? Yeah, got it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, who made the second? I did. You got the motion to second. Okay. Well, Judge, you need to appoint, if you would, a viewing committee for this uh, I will. potential roadway. I will. I will. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, I'm going to appoint a viewing committee, which is part of the process. Of course, Nick, you'll be on it. And Charlie, and we're going to let uh, 
Bo Wright go with y'all this time? Do we have to? <laughs> wait, yeah. wait a minute, he's here, right? Yeah. Hey, Nick, uh, Nick, if you don't care, you'll be, you should be driving if you... Uh, oh, yeah, I'll be driving, thing. I ain't no doubt. Good, good. Yeah. Okay, Charlie. Uh, I'd like to ask the court... Where over here? Microphone. Oh. That won't bring it. Okay, I'll go over there. Uh, some time ago, we voted or the court accepted all the bids for the Rough River project. Uh, the NCRS has gave us some money and I'd like to ask the court to accept bids on site five, site seven and eight, site 10. That will fall within the NCRS money pool. And with that being said, after that, uh, we're sending an email today, ask for the additional funds for the rest of them. There are still two sites. The contractors have got to give a breakdown because they have so much per cubic yard. Uh, the sites that I asked for, the total was 189400 NCRS gave us a sum of $203,578. Charlie, did Mr. Haney's make the cut? Yeah. Not on this one. Okay. He's one of the ones that's got to get a breakdown list. Okay. The contractor. Are they going to end up giving us more money because the bids came in a lot more? Yes. Uh, the federal government has already passed it, and what the contractors has got to do, uh, the magic number is forty dollars a cubic yard, and most all the rest of them has come in over a forty dollar cubic yard. Okay. So the contractors, we're meeting with them on November the twenty third. They got to give a breakdown why it's that way. Yeah. Charlie, do you care? Do you care? Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Do you care to go ahead and orally say so it's on the record what the bid amounts were? And who the uh, yes, sir. Site five was awarded to Carol Rao for the fun, uh, fun, or sum of eighty five thousand dollars. Site seven and eight was to extreme excavating for fifty five thousand. That's for both of them combined. Site ten was to Cal Addington for forty nine thousand four hundred. Charlie, on the, uh, like Mr. Haney there, on the possibility of if, uh, if they get the, the cubic yard tonnage or, or get that in perspective where it needs to be, is there a pretty good shot of them funds coming through? They say it is. And I, I'll give you an example on here. Like the example, the golden numbers through all the counties is $40 a cubic yard. Yeah. That one came in about $800 a cubic yard. $800 a cubic I don't, yard. I ain't no contractor, so I don't I know. The money's like. You know, so. I don't, I don't know. They got to give an example. But, but you are going to have a meeting to see where they put Which together. Which site is it? It's site three. And that will be on it. Just Carol Ralph. That'll be over three thousand dollars for a single axle truck from Russell. But I mean, he just got one, so it, there was a reason why he bid that one so high because of I don't know the reason why he bid it so high. Well, they don't say in this. That's the reason the NCRS is asked the contractors, yeah. and they just got through doing this in Marshall County, Muhlenberg County. And some of the other counties, anything come in over forty dollars a cubic yard, they have asked them to give a detailed listing. Yeah. And the way the money works, because I know of y'all, uh, once we once they get the project done, I'll have to sign off. NCRS will sign off a semester bill. We turn it in, and we have forty-five days in their contract to pay them. NCRS is almost guaranteed us that we'll have our money in our account by three weeks once we submit the bill. Yeah. But you're, but you're going to have a meeting and have them to describe exactly what the reason was that their cubic yard was yes, so November down. 23rd at 1 p.m. Okay. That's when we're going to meet with the contractors. What did you say? November 23rd at 1 p.m. here in the old fiscal courtroom. November 23rd at 1 p.m. Yes, sir. Uh, do I have a motion to approve these three so we get them done? Yes, sir. Motion to Larry Camp. Second. Second, Sam. No further discussion. Does uh, Charlie, does Mr. Haney need to be there? Do you know? Or is no, it's a contractor thing. Okay. With them. Roll call. Jonathan? Yes. Count? Yes. Yes. Morgan? Yes. Mr. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Okay. Are we doing it? Who? Uh, the uh, tool shed. Who has that? I do. Okay, go ahead and make your motion. We've got two bids, one from the Lamberts for 55369 and the other one was from Beaver Dam Building, 88500 I make a motion we accept Lambert's bid. Second. Second. Got the motion, second. Mm -hmm. 
Um, all yeah. folks, 55. All folks, say aye. Aye. All folks, like sign. Okay, uh, and then Judge, would you care to put, since we're only having one court meeting, to put add in that motion that when the job is complete and approved by the road foreman? Uh, tell them to write the check. Is that okay for y'all to add that into your motion? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or write the check when they're done and Charlie tells her it's done. Right. Okay, uh, we had some other things from our uh, uh, our bid situation. Uh, we had uh, the uh, Griffin people in here and Grad to open some, to, uh, open some bids from the uh, uh, They'll be paid for with CDBG money to construct the road and just all federal guidelines and all that. And uh, Joe, you have that. Right. You can take care of the course. Like you said, they were already open when they were handed to me. Yeah, they were open by Mary. Uh, Mary Wallace opened them in front of all the, the grid of people, uh, engineer that was here, and the grad people. And they all recorded them. So you had two bids, one from Scotty's Contracting, and the price for Scotty's Contracting was two sixty-seven, I mean two hundred sixty-seven thousand two hundred seventeen dollars and seventeen cents. I was just kind of that was the low bid. Yeah, I'm gonna read the other one. I was just kind of one of those. That was wrote down on a piece of paper, so I was just checking it myself. Okay. And then the other one is from Green River Equipment. And it was a uh, price of $267,987.62. And of course, we know Scotty's has a good reputation, and they are a little bit lower. $770 difference. Yeah. Really close. Between really that, that's a big gap. Yeah, it was. So I'd make the motion we go with Scotty's. I'll second that motion. Motion with Joe Barn. Second with Jason Bullock. Any further discussion? Any discussion? Being none, all the folks say aye. And that aye. is to construct the roadway out there. At, yes. Uh, and everything I read in here, it looks like it's to get it all to the uh, slip drain and gravel. <coughs> it is. And uh, any opposed? Being none, it passed. Uh, did you get it? Uh, do we have another bid we've talked about, another purchase? Does someone have that to those? They, uh, we don't have to bid on a state contract. Right. We were looking at a, a, a dozer for some of our road building needs. We've actually had to rent a dozer on some, uh, a couple of road projects here lately. And we've got several other road building projects that we're going to have to do in the future. I think Cotton Lane is one of them, and then there were some extensions on and widening the projects and the uh, prices it is for renting the dozers or getting contractors as you can tell it's pretty pretty pricey we were looking at actually purchasing a dozer and uh, that price I actually don't have it wrote down here in front of me what was that price 173 yeah even no it's just a little bit over about I right hear <coughs> Make sure we get it right. 173, 316. 173, 316. Yeah. Uh, we've looked at some used prices on dozers and everything. This is state contract, so we can just buy without having to advertise for bids. Uh, they've got it on in stock and everything. I would make a motion to entertain uh, purchasing that dozer. Have a second. And this is a it's a caterpillar dozer, it's on state contract. 
Okay. Second of April. How far off were the used ones? I mean, as far as price, is anybody? I mean, uh, not over a hundred. Okay. And you're taking wear and tear. And yeah. Nick, did you ever find one that that Zach Dozer for? No, was used? not was used. They, uh, the other ones that we were trying to. Uh, and everybody knows the used market has went crazy. Uh, the new market, they're just now starting to get a few of them. That's the only one that they've got. That, that those are right there. That, that, that's the only one they've got. It is a, it's sure, it's sure uh, yeah. impressive. And how is how how we going to fund it? And or how is the next court going to fund it? Uh, it will go on the, it will go in from the uh, road reserves. And then he'll pay. And then he'll be paid back to that by the post severance. The next a resolution would pass. <coughs> so with the extensions and the projects that uh, Nick's looking at it ahead of time, in the long run, if you if you rent the dozers or you get contractors to do the work for you, you could own the dozer. Mm -hmm. You know, after so many projects, after a couple of years, which that piece yeah. of equipment would. Would last the county for and, you know, 15 years. And the newer ones have so much more, many features on it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to turn your head. It's got a huge screen, backup cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a vibrator that'll clean the blade. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's absolutely a, a Cadillac. Well, the, the biggest thing about with the new one, you get six year warranty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I guess we're ready to vote. Go ahead and roll call. Johnson? Yes. Cameron? No. Morphew? Yes. Small? No. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. <coughs> Was that Thorne? Yes. Motion passed. Um, next, I have a uh, board appointment. To two board appointments to the extension board. Uh, take that one. one. No, just got two. I don't have paper. I don't have paper. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, this will be number sure. Yeah. This will be the best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first board appointment to the extension council is uh, Fred Maiden. This is a reappointment. Uh, roll call. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Pull up? Yes. Spark? Yes. <coughs> the other one also is a reappointment. Sarah Smith. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Committee reports. I know that some of the com some committees met today. Wage scale committee met today, uh, Judge, and I'd like to uh, propose a motion to move Georgina Lynch. Uh, from clerk one to admin assistant one, uh, pay rate from thirteen eighty to fourteen ninety eight. Second. For how much, Sam? Thirteen eighty to fourteen ninety eight. Okay. Got a motion a second. Any discussion? No discussion. Go ahead and go call that. Johnson? Yes. Kim? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Any other committees meet today? Were there any other committees met? Uh, well, we already talked about anything we had the road committee. Okay, Matthew's comments. Yes. Uh, bittersweet. This is my next to last court meeting for at least four years. So uh, I want everybody to know in my district and in this county that it's been a pleasure and an honor to serve. And uh, 
And as always, this county and district's in my prayers. And um, we will see you all down the road somewhere. Well, I'll see you next month, but after that, that's all I have. Uh, just like Sam said, I feel the same way. I just want to congratulate Mr. Bennett for his race and our district uh, magistrate. And uh, it'd be it'd be nice to see new views coming into the court. Um, in my position, I always kind of like to see that. So, uh, uh, wish him the best, and uh, and it has been a pleasure to serve. So, that's pretty much it. Get some water yeah, I got a couple of water projects here I need to bring before the court. Uh, the first one is um, Herbert Road Extension. Uh, it's 1,835 feet, and I just wanted to get it put on the list. So I'll make a motion to put it on the list. Second. Motion <coughs> second. Did you get a bid? What's the price on that? No, I, I haven't got a bid yet. I just want to get it on the list and I'll be forthcoming. Yeah, we'll get it on the list. Price. Price. We have, but not, well, okay. I mean, not, not this, this different project. Okay. Uh, the second mm -hmm. judge is Melvin well, Lane. Let's do that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Well, I'll, I'll, that's because that's, that's just putting it on the list. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Now. Thank you, Judge. Uh, next thing is Melvin Lane. Uh, the water project is $72,000. Uh, I've talked with the people, the judges talked with the mayor of Whitesville, and Whitesville will be the uh, servicing area for that particular water line. Um, and I've corresponded with, uh, David has as well, with the people on that particular road. And what I would like to do with the court's approval, if we could, uh, I told them I would try to get the court's approval to put in escrow half of the money, $36,000, and it would be their duty to try to find the other $36,000 from the Davis County Fiscal Court or the city of uh, city of Whitesville. But this money, I would ask that this be put in escrow, and if they don't find the funding for the other half of the particular project, then uh, monies will revert back to the court. How many people does it serve? Uh, well, it serves three or four right off the bat, but they got water, water lines that run an X amount of, off the main line, and then there's, what are Judge, two or three that have served, and then you got the Anderson, and the Anderson Estates out there. Anderson the Estate out there as well. And, uh, and they, they would hook up to, because now they've got like one inch lines run four miles or something. Yeah. So, how long would you want to leave that on before they... Uh, let's... What? Give me a year. Give me a year. Okay. okay. If I can get a second one. I'm second. Motion second. Any more discussion? Yeah. Being none, I'll say aye. 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 Hope aye. like that. And one other thing, Judge, I'll follow up on what Sam and Joe have said. We've got one more meeting and I'll be leaving. And, and to some people that may be a good thing, but I want to know, I just want to let the, uh, the people know here that it's, it's been a pleasure to serve the 4th District and the county as a whole, and uh, I've uh, met a lot of people along this trip of 33 years, and uh, I've made a lot of acquaintances, a few good friends, And uh, but uh, it's uh, time, as Joe said, uh, it's time for, for some new uh, new people on the court, new ideas maybe, so, but it's been a pleasure to serve with this court. Uh, and uh, that's all I have. Larry was part of many things, of course, over that many years. Some of them I'm sure we've forgotten. But two things really stand out in my mind that's been accomplished that with, with Larry's work. The first one was to set up this water line money that we're talking about to start with. It was his idea, and he got it done to fund that through the landfill proceeds. And doggone it, it's put the county from about... 35% of the people having water in the rural areas to 98% having it. So, I mean, it's gone a long way. <clears throat> then the other thing is when we got in so much trouble with our uh, uh, emergency services funding, he came up with the plan. This is more recent. That's pretty much uh, saved the funding for the fire departments and, uh, uh, and uh, all the emergency services. So, the, he... he in 35 years, he should have 
at least done two things. Something right. Something right. But those are the two monumental things I can think of. Appreciate the kind words, Judge. Well, it has. I've enjoyed serving with these three rascals, especially Joe Barnes. I've made a good bond relationship. We've been good friends, made good friends out of it, and I'm going to miss all three of them, but especially Joe, and it's just, uh, I'm looking forward to the new court coming in. And do you think they're going to get on the Black Talk? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he keeps telling me that they have, he does you too, Don. He, he, he says he is. He says they're going to get it, but you know how Did they, they move any equipment in today? Have they brought any in? Yeah. Where? I'm not sure because I don't know exactly which roads they're going to. Now. Halls Creek. Halls Creek. I been hitting up the one that started on last year. I haven't been up in that. Got beef for them. Larry, you yeah. think he just said those kind words so he could ask about that black dog? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you guys uh, have your black dog, Larry, and Joe, and Sam this year already? No. But it, do we have to carry it? If we carry over the money for next year, can we reappropriate it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine, buddy. And one more thing. I want to see, we're talking about everybody got water. We've got a sitting manager up here that don't have water. And I'm not going to be happy until they get water down there. And uh, neither, neither am I, and it's, it's uh, the money's there to do it with. Engineering's in process. Well, me and the judge actually thought of, uh, you know, another way that we could do it. If we get a little bit more money, we can we can circle that water around and help Rockport and Eccles area with their pressures down low. We think that that would we we probably need help to the do county it. out as a whole. We I probably know. need to do it before the year's end because when you put stuff on the back burner, sometimes they don't get done. Well, we can't modify that plan as now, but we'll keep looking at ways maybe. Well, you know. yeah. But anyway, that's all I got. Just no, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything. Uh, thanks, Judge. Anybody else got anything for the good of the body? Question. I'm sorry, Doug. Who was who made the motion in the second for your first water? Well, he made the motion. Okay, Herbert is Larry Count, second by Dan Small. Okay, I just want to make sure. I'm sorry. Okay, help. All voted in favor. That would make a lot more sense to do it that way. Thank you, Judge Johnson, members of the court. Just wanted to give you an update on how things is running with the mark up there. Uh, all of our heating and air is done and complete. All the electrical is done with the exception of two ceiling fans that need to be hung. And uh, we got both the coolers are in and up and running. And uh, I'm warm where I'm supposed to be and plenty cool where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> so anyway, uh, do, there is a few other things that has to be done before that we can get moved up there. The, of course, need a phone line, and that's in the making now, waiting on AT&T. And uh, there's a few plumbing issues that need to be addressed. Our wash sink, uh, where we clean things up and wash our hands and stuff, needs to be in, installed and hooked up and plumbed up. When our hot water tank needs to be hooked up, which we moved it from the other bay, and uh, we have some uh, issues with the uh, overhead doors. The rubbers on them are bad, and it's uh, you can see daylight underneath, and the need to get that repaired, as well as the wood around the door. Some of that is rotten, and I have some. Uh, I have a quote for the plumbing material and the the. Uh, woodwork and such and for the labor to finish it up and I understand I have enough in the corners budget to be moved around to fix that but I just need the blessing of the court to go ahead and do it uh, I brought you the quote here with me on the material and the labor issue you got the money in your budget I have the money in the, in the budget I'll give you two I'm <laughs> 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 
I think it's come a long way, Elvis. Yeah. And a lot of that's to be attributed credit to you. Yeah, yeah we've uh, uh, a few years ago we would never had any uh, know that we needed a board, but now we we know we do, and uh, it's come a long way. Anybody else got anything for good of the court? Uh, we're going to call this meeting adjourned. Uh, Christine, I need to see you. And. Uh,